Hey guys, this is Mr. A Chrissy here, and welcome back to another movie review. In tonight's movie review, I'm going to be doing a movie review on the 2008 film. Yeah, once again, another 2008 movie I've always wanted to review on this channel. And here you guys go. This is going to be my movie review on the 2008 film, Nim's Island. Yep, that's right, Nim's Island. So, Nim's Island is, is a movie that, that came out, like, you know, like I said, it's a 2008 film, like I said. And the movie stars Abigail Breslin, Jodie Foster, and Gerard Butler. So, Nim's Island, is a, it goes like this. Life is, life is an adventure for, for, for a courageous youngster named Nim, like Nim's the girl, played by Abigail Breslin. Like she, she basically lives on on an exotic island with with her marine biologist father, you know her her father Jack, and 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 of course and of course Nim also becomes friends with a bunch of animals on, on the on the island as well. When when Nim's father when Jack goes missing, she turns to to the only person she knows who who can help her, an adventurer named Alex Rover, who's 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 actually more like a fictional a fictional male hero named Alex Rover, played by Gerald Butler. And then, of course, the, the fictional hero of the novel, uh, of the book series that, that, Nim, that Nim's a fan of, the Alex Rover books, they're, a, they're actually written, written by this author, they're, they're actually written by this author, who, who's actually the author of the Alex Rover books, that kind of sounds, that sounds a lot like Alex Rover, even though the author is really Alexandra Rover, because Alex is short for Alexandra, so... But but what she doesn't know is that is that Alex Rover is really Alexandra Rover, played by Jodie Foster, who is basically the author, like I said, the author of the Alex Rover books. And so, and of course, the the author, like Alexandra Rover, she also she also has a phobia, like she also has has a fear of going out. Yeah, though faint of heart, Alexandra must find the courage within herself to to come to Nim's aid. And there you go, guys. That's what Nim's Island is about. So, I remember watching this movie, like, when I was a kid. I remember watching this film, like, a long time ago. I remember watching this film when I was in fifth grade in elementary school. And I, 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 I definitely remember this movie a lot. Like, I remember, I, I definitely remember this film when it, when, it, when it came out from, like, like, I think I remember this. This movie was made by Walden Media. Walden Media has also made a bunch of other kids' films as well that I remember the most. And... Nim's Island is definitely a movie I remember the most when I was a kid and seeing watching this in elementary school. And and I and I do remember the trailers for this film also feature the the Todd Lugren, Lugren song Bang the Drum All Day. And 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 of course I you I I'm sure you, some of you guys know that I love that song Bang the Drum All Day. And oh yeah, and plus this movie Nim's Island also got a sequel too that came out in 2013. This movie even got a sequel as well featuring like like Featuring Bindi Irwin, like like Steve Irwin's daughter, like Bindi Irwin, like Terry Irwin was his wife, his wife. But but yeah, the, the sequel to Nim's Island, Return to Nim's Island, actually has Bindi Irwin, like that replaces Abigail Breslin from the first film, and Matthew Lillard. Matthew Lillard replaces G Gerard Butler from the first film. In which I I really have no interest in checking out the sequel Nim's Return to Nim's Island because. That that one was actually considered a Hallmark Channel movie as well, because because I heard that the sequel actually premiered on Hallmark on the Hallmark Channel, and I'm I'm not that I'm not that really big I'm not that big on Hallmark Channel films, and plus plus it was kind of strange is, is that the Hallmark Channel also also airs Christmas movies like during during a time when it's not Christmas or December yet. Yeah, because that that's why I usually prefer the original films over the sequels at at at, at most times, but I can definitely say the first Nims Island is definitely. I, I definitely prefer the first Nims Island for sure. Oh yeah, and plus I also remember one, one of the trailer music that, the, that this movie even featured in one of their trailers was actually the same music they used in the movie Brazil and the same trailer music they used on B Movie and Wally. Oh, and Mr. Peabody and Sherman as well, because I just remembered that. Yeah, so and so the directors of, of Nim's Island is, are named Mark Levin and Jennifer Flackett. And the music itself was actually composed by Patrick Dole. Like, Patrick Dole has, has composed music scores for other films, I know. And, and as for the acting performances, how does the acting performances play out? The acting performances, I can tell, are not too bad. 
Like, I thought Abigail Breslin, like, I think Abigail Breslin did, 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 a, did a great job playing Nim in this film. Like, Abigail Breslin and Jodie Foster. Like, and Jodie Foster in this film, I, I, thought she, I thought she was pretty good playing Alexandra Rover in this film. Like, Jodie Foster, she wasn't too bad. And Gerard Butler, who plays the two characters, Nim's father, Jack. Like, like Gerard, but Gerard Butler did, did a good job playing Jack in this film. And, and, of course, the imaginary Alex Rover. Like, you know. And Gerard Butler, Gerard Butler did, did, did a pretty good job playing the two characters, Jack and Alex Rover. Yeah, so... So, overall... Nims Island was a was a good film from 2008, and I'm gonna give Nims Island four out of five stars. So there you have it, guys. That's gonna be it for my movie review on Nims Island, and that's gonna be it for this video. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And as always, thanks for watching. And until next time, this is Mr. A Crazy saying goodbye, everybody, and that's about it.